So that was me, five years ago, lying in a hospital bed with some unknown illness. Now, when something like that happens to you, you'd want to know what caused it. Or at least, I do. So, I've spent quite a bit of time reading up on all this stuff. And, here's what I found out. For a start, there are two main reasons you can get a fever. The first one is that your body is responding to a bacterial infection, and the other is because of a virus. And don't forget about that one, because I'll come back to it later. That first one, bacterial infection, is quite complicated. Bacteria are weird little cells that are found everywhere, in water, in the soil, in plants, and in your bodies. Some of them are good and help with your digestion and stuff. But some bacteria are bad and can cause horrible diseases like plague and cholera and anthrax. Turns out we have something inside us called our immune system that helps to protect us from bad bacteria and that means the good bacteria can get on with its job of keeping us healthy. I suppose the immune system is a bit like a police force or maybe a football referee. You see, it's their job to keep the balance inside our bodies between these two kinds of bacteria. But sometimes, the bad ones get the upper hand. And that makes you pretty ill. If that happens, the doctor might give you a special type of medicine called an antibiotic. Antibiotics are great for killing bacteria. The trouble is, they can't tell the difference between good and bad bacteria, so everything just gets wiped out. It takes time for the immune system to get the balance right again. It's weird to think that inside all of us, there's a fight going on between two rival gangs, and it's up to the immune system to keep us fit and healthy.